Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Shopify to Facebook. So this is going to be a big hitters tutorial. So, but before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is we first have to ensure that we have set up our Shopify account or our store. So in this case, I'm already logged in into my account and as you can see, I've already set up my store. But if you haven't set up your store yet, make sure to create an account and set up your store here. Now, another requirement that we'll need for this tutorial is we need to have a Facebook page. Now, to do that, you just need to log in into facebook.com into your account. And usually at the bottom left here, you should see a pages option. So go ahead and just click on it. And from here, just click on create new page and just enter all the necessary details. So that includes the page name, the category and the bio for that specific page. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that you want to do here is you have to ensure that you can actually access Meta Business Suite. Now, in this case, usually when you actually switch over to a page that you've created, you should be able to see this section here. So at the top right, you should be able to see your profile. So in this case, just switch over to your Facebook page here. And once you've done that, you should be able to see this section here. As you can see, the UI itself is going to be something different, but usually at the top left here, you should see the Meta Business Suite. So just make sure that you're able to access this section here. But once you've done that, we are now ready to start connecting our accounts. Again, you need to, to have the following requirements. That includes a Shopify account, a Shopify store, a Facebook account, as well as a Facebook page that, you, that you'll be using for promoting your shop. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we just need to go back into Shopify and we are now ready to connect our accounts. Now, what we need to do is we need to install an app that is for Shopify and for Facebook itself. So at the bottom left here, go to settings. And from here, go to the section here that says apps and sales channel. And from here, go to the Shopify app store at the top right. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and look for Facebook here. Just go to the search section, just type in Facebook, press on enter, and you should be able to see different applications related to Facebook. Now look for the section here that says Facebook and Instagram. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, just install it into your account. So in this case, I'm going to uninstall this first so that I'll be, you will be able to show you the whole thing here. So let me just uninstall it fully and just click on uninstall. And from here, once you've done that, let's just go back in here, reload Facebook and Instagram. And from here, it should actually reload itself as a application that I've, I will be installing. So let's just wait for it. Now, this is the next page when you actually click on the install button, usually able to see this section here. Go ahead and click on install for you to successfully install Facebook and Instagram here. So in this case, let's just wait for it. But once it's actually installed, you should be able to see the UI for Facebook and Instagram. Now, also, if you want to pin your applications here, just click on the pin option here or icon, and you should be able to pin it into your account here. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we just need to start connecting our account. So click on the get started button here. And from here, just follow the steps for you to set up your account. So first thing that we have to do here is we have to connect our accounts here. So you need to connect your Facebook account here. Just click on connect account. It should pop up a new UI. So if you already log in into your Facebook and this browser here, you should be able to see your account here. But if not, you need to enter your credentials. But for now, let's just click on continue since I'm already logged in. And from here, just click on confirm account. Now from here, just click on allow. And that should actually allow Shopify to access our Facebook account. Now, as you can see in the next section, this is going to be the business assets. Now we need to use a business asset. So that's why I actually uh, ask you to connect or create your Facebook page here. But in this case, if you don't have a Facebook page yet, you could, you could go and click on the create new button here. And from here, it's going to ask you to basically create a Facebook page. In this case, just click on go to Facebook and fill out and follow the steps for you to basically create your page here. But in this case, going back, make sure that you click on your shop here and click on connect. Now from here, it's going to ask you to connect a business account. So if you have, if you don't have a business account yet, click on the create new here and just follow the steps for you to create your new business account. Now for now, let's just click on select here for my existing business account and just click on connect. 
Now from here, it's going to start the connection process for that. It's going to ask you some information for this. So first is you need to choose your preference. So preference here is depending on what you select, it's going to give you uh, some of the features here. Like for example, for conservative here, it's going to use Metapixels, which is third party cookie. And if you want to view more details on it, you could go ahead and do that. But I would suggest you to try using Enhance here because it actually enhances your uh, sharing a preference here. So this is going to be the basic one but yeah so depending on what you need here so for now i'm going to use the enhance here and from here let's just click on the save option it's going to start saving our uh, option here or our details and once you've done that you need to uh, basically create a metapixel now, Metapixels is a way for you to keep track of your customer's behavior. So let's just click on create new here. And as you can see, we were able to easily correct, uh, create our pixel. So once you've done that, just click on confirm. And from here, you should be able to see the Meta's seller agreement and Meta Business Tools and Terms. So in this case, I would recommend you to read through their agreement and tools terms here just to make sure that you know what you're getting into as well as if some things go wrong, you should be able to protect yourself. So for now, let's just select this one and just click on Submit for Review. And from here, it should uh, basically uh, redirect you to another page where in this case, it's going to say Finalizing Channel Setup. So in this case, let's just wait for it to complete. Now from here, you should see or you should get the you're ready to start selling on Facebook sales channel. Now from here, you could go and click on done. And from here, since we have successfully connected our account, we are now ready to start creating our ads. So if you want to create your ad, just click on create ad here and it should actually load up another tab, which in this case, you should be able to see the ads manager. Now in this case, you can go ahead and click on get started since we've just successfully connected our Shopify account with our Facebook account. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.